Now the ball goes in, where's Jerry? He's hanging off again, once again. Jeez, what do you call that? A slow start. Oh, mate, look at the speed work. Well, you got to hit that ruck, mate. Going. you got to hit that ruck. So where is he now? He's sort the, where's the green headgear? Nowhere to be seen. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. The big man, making yards. Nowhere to be seen. There, there he is. goes, just at the last minute. Can't what's it like? The, ball. the green attack <laughs> man. What happened to the old dumb? Yeah. What, what's it like seeing yourself play on TV? I don't really watch Static. it that much, actually, <laughs> <laughs> to be quite honest. But yeah, it um, uh, looks a wee bit... Um, you can stop looking, it's finished now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a wee bit different to what you anticipate the way you play. It's quite a good judgment of, to, to have a real honest look at yourself. And There's no doubting that yeah. TV's changed sports, and... Um, I'm a sports junkie, I watch anything on TV and on Sky, the sports cafe, I mean, I just love it. I'm, I wish I could have Rick Salizzo's job, I think I've just got too much hair. But, um, I mean, obviously you guys are fans of that show as well as Aftermatch. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well, now you can talk about your exercise now, Craig, the reason why it's you're here. here four years. Um, oh, five hours of filming crammed into three minutes of prime footage, <laughs> marketing um, Y-fronts. Uh, they're a fantastic garment, and um, <laughs> I'm sure they're going to take over the fashion industry very soon. They provide support when you need it most. Now, what, <laughs> what they're talking about is the Sports Cafe uh, competition uh, run by Mark Ellis, where you had to send in a sporting video. Now, you may not know it, but these guys won the national competition. There was well over 100 entries, and uh, they weren't able to show it in its entirety. And I thought, well, Southland was cheated, especially to know we had filmmakers of... Uh, this quality. Have a look and tell me what you think. <laughs> Get to Boston! Oh, jeez, you're bloody right for tonight! making me hard. Jeez, guys, what happened to your hand, man? Don't worry about the hand, buddy. Shotgun went off. Right on you, mate. Oh, it's in there. Hit the rucks down here. 100%. When it hit the rucks in the black room, watch in the dark room, boys. Hitting rucks. Oh, no, no, what do you want? Well, hit them out. And where are we In the dark room, sir. Up the guts, up the guts, man. So get in there, get low, watch it. Why are you playing like this? Clearly, it was. Are you going for and I get your sweaters on again? Good on you, young man. I like your attitude. You're playing the Fairfax Juniors today, and they don't mind a bit of argy bargy, some of that era, you young sport. Right, 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 get in there. Low, low, low. What the heck are you going to do? Up the guts. Where? Up the guts. Up the guts. Up the guts. All right, all right. So if I find myself out wide, sir, I'm going to take the overlap. I've got a bit of overlap. What do you want me to do, sir? I don't want you thinking at all. What's the heck? Just hit rocks. Mate. 
Well, let's cross over live to Bill McLaren and Fergus McSlattery after the Catlin's 15th game. Thank you very much, Jim, and I can tell you what a brutal game of rugby I've just witnessed. Jeremy, your thoughts? Yeah, well, we got out there today and we wanted to achieve something we've never achieved before, and that was hit racks. The coach told us to hit racks, get low, hit racks, not too much thinking. The full credit to the boys out there, they got low and they hit racks. They got themselves in the dark room. I found myself there myself, and now I've got a beautiful white ground. It's just a full credit to that man who gave me a long gout. It was just beautiful. A lot of people would like to describe it as a game of two hearts, Jeremy. Yeah, well, I guess. As I say, there was two Ford packs out there. They had eight, we had eight. We threw it up the guts to them. They didn't have anything. We stuck to the game plan. I found myself out wide. I was going to draw and pass, but I thought about what the coach said. He said, don't think, just get low and hit rocks. So I brought it back into the dark room and the boys drove over the top. It was beautiful. Of course, the weather conditions not today, not really available for good running football, but I think that's the last thing you had on your mind. But they were out there for one purpose, were they to run and get low and hit rocks. We don't want to be fringing and high-fiving today. We just want to get low and hit rocks. That's all we've got to think about. Rocks! Well, rugby, here's where it is. The deep safe. Your mobile phones are lost here. All you need is a good duck collar and a good shotgun. Have a shower. Thanks, lad. What an ambassador of the sport. Young Fergus, McSla Fergus McSlattery. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Your question to what rugby players do in the off-season. That was more than a tribute to Y fronts. I mean, is there something that you're trying to um, show there, something about Southland? Or? Yeah, well, sort of. We had a bit of a, with the Super 12 now and all the hard jargon on rugby now. Sort of hard. You have to be sort of a whiz to keep up with that sort of style. So we took it back. We had a flashback about 20 years sort of style and went back to the old last of the breed sort of Colin Mead sort of Griswoldy breed or the Southland style. Now you were eating Swede. <laughs> yeah, it's actually one of my uh, favourite diet foods, yeah. Well, you're a front rower in your time yeah. for Southland, so I'm not surprised. But uh, And this all started over Y-Fronts. What's, what's the story with Y-Fronts? Well, we've been a big fan of the Y-Fronts a couple of years ago. I remember you could never get Y-Fronts anywhere. They just went right off the market. And I think Southland was the only place you could ever get them. I think H&J's was the only place. So we sort of had a bit of a marketing spree with a bit of a band we used to have. And, and uh, it actually with Stephen Hayes and we sort of promoted the old wife fronts because I reckon... Of course he was in that with the cauliflower ears we saw yeah. too. <coughs> we reckon that was wrong with um, what's wrong with the country, you know, if everyone got back into the old wife fronts and it'd be, uh, we'd be a lot better off sort of style. I think you better keep wearing the headgear, mate. <laughs> and what I've got here, I, you guys both know what it's like to wear this jersey, the maroon jersey. I mean it must be an awfully wonderful thing to do. Now this jersey, you could win it. All you've got to do is head along to the Viking Games this Sunday. Sunday afternoon at Homestead Stadium, Southland plays the Vikings, their last pre-season match before the NPC. Tom will have a question next Monday night or next week on Aftermatch. Make sure you watch, be at the game, and you could win this jersey from Canterbury of New Zealand. They're at 54 Tay Street. Of course, they do this jersey, the new Westpac Trust Southland jersey, and you could win it. Thanks for having me on Aftermatch tonight. It's been a pleasure to be here. Thanks, you guys, for coming along. Craig? Let you yes, thanks very much. Actually, with that trust, you work there, don't you? Yes, in fact, yes. Well, the sponsor will be happy then. Yep. You can head back. And, and uh, Jeremy, I believe the tribute to the wife fronts is even bigger than um, what you have to say. I believe there's a song. Might as well finish. This is the, give you the old Reader's Digest condensed version. This is the song about the wife fronts. Uh, thanks fronts. for being with us on Aftermatch tonight. Jeremy Winders, <laughs> Southland player and musician. a young man and never used to care why fronts and red bands all used to wear I said what's their name why fronts I said what's their name why fronts oh yeah life is so short man so why should I care get anything after why fronts in there I said what's their name why fronts I said what's their name why fronts Up your G strings, the beats have to burn. Cause the wire fronts, the wire fronts are made very turn.